Today we're going to do a calibration procedure for the dissolved oxygen meter model number MW600. When you first open up your unit, you're going to find an operator's manual. Also included with your unit is the MW600 dissolved oxygen open air calibration procedure card. This is the open air calibration procedure uh, calibration uh, that we would like for you to proceed with rather than what's in the manual. This is a much easier, it's just as precise. The only reason for going to the manual using the zero oxygen calibration procedure would be if you're using this and it is specified that you must have the zero oxygen to calibrate the unit. So we're going to be following these short instructions today and we're going to be walking through step by step. When you first open up the unit, these are the parts you see. You got the base unit, we've already put the battery in. You have the probe with a protective cap on. You have a package of five membranes. In the membranes there's also a protective cap with extra O-rings. I've already sorted out the uh, one of the membranes we're going to be using. And you have a starter bottle of MA9071-S, which stands for starter bottle that will provide you with possibly three, maybe four refills of your membrane. At some point you're going to need to purchase additional MA9071 uh, electrolyte solution. So, to proceed with this calibration procedure, the first thing we're going to do is remove the protective cap off of the probe. This will expose the diode. It's a gray wire diode, you see right there. For our purposes right now, we're going to take it and drop it over the side of the table. We're going to take the connector pin and connect that. There's only one way. You have a groove on the connector. It goes in only one way to your unit, locking it down with the lock screw. At this point, you're going to do according to the open air uh, calibration procedure, you're going to turn your unit on with your probe and an exposed diode, no membrane. You should see a 0, 0.0 come up on your screen. If you do not go to the zero with your provided screwdriver and dial it in to where you do see 0, 0.0, not a negative or, or, or any other figure, this is what you want to start off with. The zero the unit. Next, you will take your membrane, you want to select a O-ring that came in the protective cap, put the O-ring into the membrane, and with the screwdriver, tap it down onto the shoulder at the bottom of the threads. Now this is black on black, so it's difficult to see the O-ring inside the membrane, but there is a shoulder at the bottom of the threads. When you have that done, you want to take your electrolyte solution and very gently, do not squirt, but very gently load your membrane up to the O-ring that you just put in. When you've got the electrolyte just short of the O-ring in your membrane, you want to look down through the membrane onto a white surface and look for any air bubbles that are inside the liquid electrolyte. This is where any calibration procedure will fall apart because it must not have any air bubbles inside this membrane before it's installed onto the end of your probe. So once we've established that there's no air bubbles inside the electrolyte, take your probe and just put it onto the bottom and hand tighten the membrane onto the probe and then let it hang back off the table. As you can see it's already numbers are starting to fall on the on the display. They will continue to fall as the electrolyte that's inside the membrane continues to take a charge. And that's what we're doing is we're charging up the electrolyte that's inside this membrane. Usually this procedure will take between 5 and 10 minutes to stabilize. We recommend giving it at a minimum of 5 minutes before it is stabilized. For the sake of shortening this demo, we're going to go ahead and do the 100% cal position. 
So as you see, it's sitting at 8.5 right now. We're going to hit the cow button, and as it turns out, it's already sitting at 100. But if it was not sitting at 100, what you would do is take the screwdriver and dial it. And it is a little bit touchy, so it doesn't take much movement until holding down the cow button until you come to 100 release the cow button and with the open air calibration procedure we now have it established at 8.4 and that is the average that where we are right now we're only uh, 65 feet above I'm sorry 165 feet above sea level therefore that is the norm for us here in this location every time you turn this instrument on unless something has changed like you've moved locations and you've gone up or down in altitude you should always see that number when the probe is exposed to the open air and that number should be the standard that you go by if you do not have that number then you need to go back and start your recalibration procedure again as you see it's dropping a little bit and what's happening is that electrolyte is being charged if you press the number again you notice that it's dropped from 100 down to 99 this is the reason why you would want to wait for five to ten minutes for this unit to, to finally settle in before you do the hundred percent so with that that concludes the open air calibration procedure for the MW600 dissolved oxygen meter thank you for choosing Milwaukee Instruments